So Mithra of Persia, he was born on December 25th also, just like Krishna, just like Horus and Buddha and Bedal and every other god, you know, Quetzal Cody, um, the uh, Aztec god, he was born on December 25th also. So, um, Krishna, no, Mithra. Mithra was born December 25th before 1500 BC. His birth was witnessed by shepherds that brought gifts to honor him. He was styled as a meditator or a mediator between God and man. Witness this quote from the Encyclopedia Encarta, Mithraism, similar to Christianity in many respects, for example, in the ideals of humanity and brotherly love, baptism, the rite of communion, the use of holy water, the adoration of the shepherds at Mithra's birth, the ob uh, adoption of Sundays and of December 25th, Mithra's birthday as holy days, and the belief in the immortal immortality of the soul, the last judgment and resurrection. Mithraism differed from Christianity in the exclusion of women from its ceremonies and in its willingness to compromise with polytheism. The similarities, however, made possible the easy conversion of its followers to Christian doctrine. Horus of Egypt, born on December 25th before 2500 BC, his mother Isis gave birth to him in the swamp. She was warned by the god Thoth to flee and conceal the child from the evil Set. Set had killed the father of Horus, whose name was Osiris, and sought to kill Horus, also Isis, was able to keep Horus hidden from Set till Horus grew into manhood. Horus sought to avenge the murder of his father and made war against Set and defeated him. Buddha of India was born on December 25th, 563 BC. His mother's name was Maya, similar to Mary. She was a virgin. He is immaculately conceived. And at birth, he announced that he was a savior to the world. His birth was announced by a star. At his birth, he was visited by wise men who declared that they had seen the signs of his birth. That is to say, the signs of the royal birth. On the surface, it looks like a coincidence, but when one considers how much of Buddha's teaching Jesus claimed as his own, it becomes clear that the whole Buddha story was appropriated by Jesus himself, or at least by his church. Bedal fought F-O-T-B-E-D-D-O-U was a god of the Orient, born 1027 B.C. His mother was a virgin. He was born of royal blood. The god sought to kill him at birth because he felt the newborn infant posed a future threat to his throne. Just like Herod and Jesus, the god child was saved by the shepherds and lived in the desert till he reached the age of 30, at which time he commenced teaching his spiritual doctrine to that religion. Quetzalcoatl, a god of the Western Hemisphere, was born of a virgin around 900 B.C. He sojourned in the wilderness, fasted 40 days, was crucified. He was variously represented as the god of light that struggled against the god of darkness called Tezcatlipoca. Hercules, the son of the god Zeus, was born around 500 B.C., predestined by birth to inherit the throat of Argos. Hera, the jealous wife of Zeus, desired a throne for another and sought to delay the birth of Hercules. Try to kill Hercules while in his crib, but he killed the two snakes that she had sent to strangle him when he was less than a year old. Later, he was sent away to the countryside where Hercules becomes a shepherd. Addis of Phygria, born around 1200 BC, his mother was a virgin. Her name was Nana. He was a shepherd reported to have died by self emasculation under a pine tree. He was alleged to have risen from the dead. At Easter, uh, the spring vernal equinox, Tammuz, born before 2600 B.C., was hailed as the only begotten son of the god E. His mother was a virgin by the name of Ishtar, an infant he was hidden in a chest by Aphrodite, the goddess of love entrusted to Pers uh, Persephone, the goddess of the netherworld. Persephone later opened the chest and was so stricken by the beauty of the babe that she refused to return the god to Aphrodite. The two goddesses fought each other for possession of the child to finally the god Zeus meditated the matter and declared the child spent half of its year with Aphrodite and the other half in the netherworld with Persephone. Sol Evictus, the unconquered son, was the official sun god of the later Roman Empire and a patron of soldiers in 2074 AD the Roman Emperor Aurelian made it an official cult alongside the traditional Roman cult so Sol Invictus was a an official cult in 2000 or in 274 so the scholars disagree whether the new deity was a refoundation of the ancient Latin cult of Sol revival of the cult of Elagabalus or completely new the god was favored by emperors after Aurelian and appeared on their coins until Constantine the last inscription referring to Sol Invictus dates to 387 AD and there were enough devotees in the 5th century that Augustine found it necessary to preach against them the idea particularly popular in the 8th and 19th centuries at the date to December 25th 
for Christmas was selected in order to correspond with the Roman festival of Dies Natalis Solus Invicti, or birthday of the unconquered sun, is challenged today. Prometheus was born on December 25th, descended from heaven as a god incarnate as man to save mankind, crucified, suffered, and was redeemed at death.